Hello again YouTube. Today what I got for you is a starting issue on my 89 Camaro IROC Z. Um, just a little bit of background before I get started in this. Uh, the problem that I am having is cold start issues. It's not necessarily cold outside, but if I haven't ran it for a while, it does not want to start. And when I finally do get it started, um, it runs okay. It does uh, jump up in RPM, drop back down, jump up, drop back down. But once I get it started, it fires right up once I actually get it started for the next few hours, unless I let it sit for too long. So, let's see if I can give a little demo here. I haven't really started my car up in a while. And if you could hear that, that was the fuel pump. Sounds like it's working just fine to me. Turn it on, you can hear it go beep. So. <laughs> And you hear the fuel pump. There's a fuel pump again. But you get the idea. I'll do that over and over and over and over until this thing gets started. So, what I think it is, is a either a fuel filter or a fuel pump issue. So, what I'm going to do is go to my local O'Reilly's or AutoZone or whatever it is and grab their fuel pressure regulator or pressure pump tester thingy. So, uh, yeah, let me grab that. Alright, so this is what I got. That's a little box that has a bunch of other stuff, but... This is the pressure regulator all the way down on the bottom. I've got a, a little elbow just so it fits in mine. It's just the straight piece on the bottom. But if you have the same thing that I have, the place where you plug this in at is right here. So we take this little cap off and put it in a very safe place because this is definitely needed. So I'm gonna pop that in my pocket, and then I'm gonna take this end, and I'm gonna screw it in there, and uh, I'm gonna put this under here onto the windshield so I can see it while I'm in the car. All right, so I got it screwed in exactly where I said it was. I've got the other line right down here. Press the button to purge it. There's no pressure in there right now, so. The first thing is you put your keys in and when you actually put your keys in and you turn it to the on position, not actually starting it, I'll look up here, if I can even get the camera on it, there we go, I'll look up there and I'll see what it stays at, because it's supposed to jump up, I think in this vehicle, I think it's 40, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, it's supposed to go up to 40. And it's supposed to maintain 40. So, I'm going to put the keys in and turn it. See if you can hear the, the pump. And that's retardedly low. So, let me go ahead and try to start it. So it did go up eventually, but look at this thing drop. It is not holding pressure at all. That's probably the issue that I've been having. And that's dropping very quickly. I don't even have to wait 15 minutes like you should. That's dropping straight down. So, I think I figured out what it is. Because it's dropping so much, I can go through, check the line, make sure there's no uh, leaks in there. If there are leaks, you'll be able to see any kind of fuel. And 
everything looks dry to me. So I definitely don't have any leaks in there. So it looks like it's my fuel pump, which uh, is going to be another fun video because uh, the fuel pumps in these things, either you have to drop everything in the back or drill a hole in the metal underneath the carpeting in the back to get to the top of the tank to get that out. So that's going to be fun. Stay tuned. <laughs> 